Hey, Coco. Hi, baby. Hey, Pooh. Give me a minute. You ready to tell them all about your new baby brother? Huh? Ooh, God bless him. <sighs> My boys. Aunties and uncles of the Never Miss Prodigy. I have amazing news to report. On July, why do I keep saying July? Well, I know why. On June 18th, my son, Daniel Jr., was born. Early. I say July because he was supposed to be here during that time. And uh, he decided to come five weeks early, which was absolutely amazing. It, uh, I don't know, to describe the, the whole situation is life-changing, to say the least. I've been pretty inconsistent on my YouTube, of course, over these last eight to nine months. And it's honestly been because of this. I've been waiting for my son. I uh been working pretty hard to make sure that we can uh I don't know, have uh have have something good for him when he gets here. You know, my wife and I've been working hard, I've been working hard, and it's been a wild ride to say the least. So before I kinda jump into talking more about that, I wanna just kinda put some stuff out there real quick. So first I want to say thank you to every single person who sent likes, well wishes, love, you know, came through on Twitch, Twitter, I mean YouTube, everywhere. Like people found ways to find me and say good luck, congratulations, we love you. And uh, it's an amazing feeling to live in a world during this time where things is literally going insane depending on who you are and where you are in this world and especially being a black man and i think that a lot of stuff although i don't necessarily agree with everything that's going on right now but it's always been my dream to give my my son if i ever had one um, a better opportunity than i had coming up and a lot of you know that I come up in a very rough neighborhood, a really poor background, and I uh, didn't have a lot of opportunity. And, and knowing that my son will have a better shot, a better start than I had is uh, really reassuring. You know, in the midst of racial unrest, in the midst of an apocalyptic disease, in the midst of unprecedented wealth inequality and in the midst of job, massive job losses across the country, I am still blessed. And I don't take that for granted for one second. Um, I, I don't plan on this video being very long and I wanted to just kind of put that out there and I wanted to say thank you again because a lot of my blessings do come from having this audience, you know, and it's, and for me so far, it hasn't been a monetary thing. It's not the monetary thing. Like, like that's never been a thing for me on my YouTube because honestly I haven't monetized it correctly so that I could truly profit, you know, but it's more of the emotional support. It's something about knowing that thousands of people care about you. You know, it's a unique perspective that people don't experience, um, except for those that, you know, have that type of following or influence. Uh, and if you're genuine about it, or you really take, you really take it into consideration like I do, it means a lot. And sometimes in my darkest days, just knowing that those people care, someone cares, you know, those times where I feel truly alone and the world doesn't understand me or I'm feeling afraid because of what's going on in the world. 
I know that there are people who love me and care about me that I've never seen. And that is truly irreplaceable. It's amazing. And life has always, always been sweeter because of it. And now I get to share this life that I've built. I get to share this audience. I get to share it all with my extended family, with my son. And I can't, I can't fathom the words necessary to make this video. My heart is overflowing with joy and love. And I can't imagine, I, I, can't, I can't imagine, I don't know, I, I couldn't imagine this moment. I couldn't imagine what life was gonna be like with the sun. The thing is, the world is kind of going to shit. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff going on right now and people are going nuts and you know, it's a real thought to be a black man and have a fear of the police. It's a real thought to be a black man and to know that your path and your life is somewhat predetermined where you were born, the type of school you go to, the education you receive, the job you have. And it's not just all just black men. It's pretty much, as I mentioned before, a lot of times the, the, the true enemy is not race. The enemy is wealth inequality and opportunity inequality. And that's a whole nother topic for another day. But I always lived my life in a struggle when I was growing up. And I always wondered if there would ever be a chance or a time where I wouldn't have to struggle. And I fought against my nature. I fought against my my teachings from where I came from. I fought against everything I've ever known to push myself to make a better life for myself. And I found somebody who wanted to go on that journey with me. And 10 years later, we had a son. And we've built something here special. And I've built a special love with my wife and I built a special love with this audience and And I'm bringing a new life into this world that some will say is full of hate, but I know different. I know that it's a world full of love. And I know that it can be better and it will be better. And I'm just glad that I'm here to experience it and I have a son to help build a better future. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, I meant to say this earlier before I even got into this. It's just raw thoughts on the whole thing. But I'm going to be making some big changes here to my channel. Um, nice segue, by the way. Um, there's been a lot of things going on, as I mentioned to you before, even in this video. I haven't been doing the best uh, job of monetizing this stuff and doing things the quote unquote correct way on YouTube and I don't plan on ever quote unquote changing my style but I do plan on increasing my quality to bring more success and changing how I do things but still remain the same so I'm starting to hire professionals to help me with my content creation you know I've learned through this eight months I've learned through this experience with COVID and everything else that, you know, the hard way that I can't do everything by myself. And sometimes to take things to the next level, I'm going to need a helping hand. So I've decided to hire a video editor. I'm hiring other professionals and other levels to help build things. And this channel, I hope, I'm gonna take to the next level and I hope you guys enjoy it and come on that journey with me. Uh, life is grand. The world is literally on fire. 
job loss everywhere, you know, race, relations going insane, and I remain blessed. And I am forever grateful for these, for these blessings, for these opportunities, for the life that I'm living and the love that I'm receiving. Uh, I have been, I don't know. First time in my life, first time in my life, I can say I'm, I feel complete. First time in my life, I can say I feel whole and I know that the future is going to be beautiful. You know, it has always been times where the future has seemed scary or undetermined, but this is the first time that I've been confident that life is beautiful and will be beautiful and remain beautiful, I don't know, for a really long time. And I'm glad that I can share that with all of you. So that's all I got to say. I'll be back to making content normally pretty soon. Uh, I just need to get things going. Having a newborn baby, you got to take some time to break that into your household. But once it's nice and broke in, I'll be able to get back to making content regularly and streaming and all that good stuff. Um, once some of these folks get put into place, uh, things will continue. And as I mentioned before, we're going to come back better than we ever have. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it dank.